So we'll have a, we'll have a little look in here. Um, I mean, this pipe works not old, is it, Joe? No. So, so, right, we're in, where are we, Joe? We're in Islington. Right? <laughs> are we in, uh, what kind of property are we in? So it's in a new build, within the last six years it's been built. So it's a new, a new house. Yeah. Um, and how is it, how is the heating and hot water um, provided at the moment, so when it works? When it works, we've got... <laughs> does it work, does it work? Temporary. <laughs> um, when it wants. When so it you've wants got this be. unit here, yeah. hot water, and you've got a heat pump yeah. uh, on the roof, which then provides the heat to heat the coil on this unit when it's working. Does it work a lot? Every now and then. <laughs> this is why on this unit here, they yeah. do have backup immersions. Yeah. For the same reason, it, it doesn't work all so, the time. So in theory, so in theory though, that, I mean, if the heat pump was as efficient and reliable and worked all the time as they claim to, you wouldn't need an immersion, you would you? You wouldn't need the immersion. I mean, right. you'd have an immersion as a backup in case it broke or was being serviced, but they actually have to use the immersion all the time. They're using it because, on the Because yeah. they don't have enough hot water. Right. Um, so what um, what are we going to do? So what is it? So let's have a look. So it's an eco dan. So it's, this has been spec for the house. Uh, this is a, a 14 kilowatt eco dan. Um, so, what are we going to fit? What, what, what have we proposed? So, we're fitting two separate systems today. We're going to fit an unvented cylinder direct yep. with two elements with an overnight timer, which what? heats it up overnight at a cheaper rate. Perfect. And, and we're also going to put a heat. When you say cheaper rate, the electric prices are going mad. Well, it's cheaper than the daytime rate. It's <laughs> <laughs> still going to be pricey. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but no, but it, it, it's cheaper rate electric, so it will right. cost you less. Yeah, I was um, thinking. So and then for the heating, we're going to fit an electric boiler. Yeah. Um, a slimline electric boiler, um, which will work exactly as it is now. And do we fit just any electric boilers? Uh, no, they're heat ray sadia boilers uh, made by heat ray sadia. Um, ten year guarantee. Ten year guarantee. Do they go wrong? We fit loads, don't we? We fit loads. Yeah, we don't get no problems with them. No, they're bulletproof. Um, hence why we fit them. So, so the plan of attack. Now is um, so. How, how many rads? Is it all? Is it all radiators here, or no? So you've got two set like, parts. You've got underfloor heating downstairs, yep. and then you've got four or five radiators upstairs, yep. um, which will connect to the electric boiler. So this is a modern property, so it's really thermally efficient. It's, it's well insulated. It's well insulated, and it still doesn't get hot enough, does it? No, because the heat pump just doesn't provide enough heat. Correct. That's the that's the, that's the point, and that's been specified by experts. This is a yeah. brand new house authorised by the local council to the latest building regs and it just doesn't work so we kept we kept hearing obviously before the war we kept hearing that the future of boilers was all heat pumps is that going to happen no <laughs> hang on you, you you said no too quickly you didn't even think about the answer didn't need to think about the answer common sense yeah, an yeah. it's never going to happen never gonna... <laughs> so true right thanks joe um so let's just crack on